Nightbreed, the Cabal Cut. The ultimate edition of Nightbreed for the fans. Or is it? There is an ultimate Cabal Cut being developed, and, as of all things Clive Barker, it isn't exactly straightforward. Today, in this mini-documentary, I will be exploring the history of the Cabal Cut, who was involved, and how it came to be, and discuss the currently in edit bay, the longer, the higher quality, the three hour cut of Nightbreed. We'll explore who is involved in this particular cut of the movie, how it came to be, and the troublesome history of it getting to the point that it is now. So as always, sit down, grab a coffee, and I hope you enjoy this deep dive mini documentary into the world of Nightbreed, the Cabal Cut, and the soon to be released three hour ultimate Cabal Cut. Nightbreed. The movie had an incredibly troubled production. There were reshoots, studio and production company interference, and after it was finally released, it was essentially ignored by critics and audiences alike. However, it would find its cult following in time, and now it is regarded as a bit of a cult classic, with fans around the globe. Nightbreed was based on Clive Barker's novella, Cabal, and although it was from his mind, he no longer owns the rights to the movie. Those now lie with Morgan Creek, or from what I could gather, they control the rights, and as such, when Clive Barker's Seraphim production company wanted to release the Cabal cut, they had to approach Morgan Creek directly. Now, the original Cabal Cut was an edit of the film that was based on a work print VHS that was discovered in Clive Barker's offices of Seraphim Productions. The cut was then chopped together with and replaced by some higher quality footage here and there to replace scenes that had zero sound, some duplicate shots were removed and again replaced, and this cut became known as the Cabal Cut. It was shown around festivals in 2012, and from here, we then had an incredibly limited and more exclusive release of the director's cut of Nightbreed. In 2014, Clive Barker became involved directly with a new cut of Nightbreed. This would obviously become the director's cut, something that he has been quoted as saying is his favourite cut of the film. Now, even though the mind behind the mythos favours this particular cut, it was met with notable disappointment from fans. Mainly due to the fact that it was missing the footage that was known at that time to now be in the Cabal Cut, and thus, it felt like an incomplete story, and not what was originally intended to be released. The footage that was missing rounds out to around 15 minutes which although it doesn't sound like a lot, it really can impact a flow and feel to a movie, which is probably why fans were up in arms. And then, from here, either in an effort to appease the fan backlash or to cash in on some of the fan backlash, Seraphim, Clive Barker's company, reached an agreement with Morgan Creek. They were able to secure an agreement that allowed them to release an incredible incredibly limited amount of copies of this elusive Cabal Cut. Now 2017 rolled around and 250 copies were up for sale, and they sold out. Now these copies, it's important to note, were sold at an incredibly, what I would deem, extortionate price of around $250. So what happens from here? Well, it would seem that the Cabal Cut was not the complete be-all and end-all of the footage. It would seem that actually, there is a lot more footage that has not been seen. Recently, the Clive Barker cast broke the news that there is a longer cut of the Cabal Cut Nightbreed movie on the way. But who's involved? Well, from what I could gather, not Clive Barker. This is not something that he is directly involved in and is actually 
something the original restoration director is handling. Heading the project for the ultimate Cabal Cut is Russell Cherrington, the man you can thank for the first Cabal Cut. It has also come to my attention that the current cut of this Ultimate Cabal version is clocking in at a whopping 193 minutes. Though as it's currently still being edited and due to the quality of the footage being cut and used in this edit, it may come in slightly under that amount, but only by a minute or two. So how close is it to release? Well. It's in the quality control phase at the moment, so editing is pretty much done. The editor and powers that be are now viewing it, ensuring it's up to scratch, and then this is where it will either go back to the editing bay or it will be packaged up and released, marketed to the public, and hopefully appease an itch that all of the fans have. But it's close, it's, it's genuinely really close to release. There is, in fact, an official Twitter page for this cut as well, which I'll link below, and at the time of writing this documentary, very excitedly, it would seem that they have just released a teaser trailer for the fans. This is another thing which I will link below, and if I have done a trailer reaction to it, I will leave that down below as well. Now this section might sound a little bit awkward and a little bit off kilter, I was just editing this mini documentary and as I do with all of these things I reach out to various contacts and people uh, working on things here and there and I always reach out and ask for comment and, and things like that. What I have now, uh, and I am really really excited to, uh, to show you this, uh, exclusively uh, I'm breaking this. I have an extended scene of Leroy and Lude's fight from Nightbreed. So I'm just going to stop the mini documentary momentarily. I'm going to include the extended fight scene again. This is an exclusive. It will then obviously be uh, chucked online later down the line, I'm sure. But here you go, the extended scene. And it also really does show you just how close to being done they are. <laughs> The usual. You take the big guy. Sucker. You don't want to do that. Give me a good reason why not. I'll give you two. <laughs> so interestingly enough, the Twitter account that I mentioned is actually very, very active releasing numerous images showing previously unseen footage and really, really high quality restoration work. We have to remember that a lot of this footage is from dailies and reshoots, recuts, VHS original quality, and it is all from the 90s. So for these stills to come through and end up looking like this, it would seem some considerable work has been done on the footage, something that shows time and care, which in my eyes all bodes incredibly well for the ultimate Cabal Cut. As it is now entering into its quality control phase and the amount of activity the Twitter account has been going through, it's highly likely that we will have an official update on this and when to expect a release very soon. It is interesting to note Clive Barker's silence on this and anything Nightbreed. This comes at a time when Clive Barker is supposed to be working on a Nightbreed TV series with Josh Stolberg for sci-fi, and I previously produced a mini documentary on that and the unlikelihood of it coming to pass. As an opinion that has now actually been further solidified because I reached out to sci-fi to comment on this and they failed to provide a statement. Now again, as I repeated in that video, I'm no idiot, silence isn't always telling but it is when it comes to Clive Barker and projects he's involved in. 
Maybe his silence, associated with this ultimate cabal cut, pertains to his lack of involvement and potential resentment for its release. Who knows? This is pure speculation. But for a man who loves to announce works, confirmed or unconfirmed, and most of the things that he does announce never come to be, he has been eerily silent on this version of Nightbreed. So, obviously when the movie comes to be, if the movie comes to be anyway, I will be doing a review on it. But until then, please do hit subscribe to stay up to date on all the news that will be coming out surrounding this, the ultimate cabal cut of Nightbreed. Is this something that you will be interested in getting upon release? I feel, personally, that there really is a gap in the market here, due to the original Cabal Cut being so exclusive in its availability, so few copies that were available, and the fact that this now will have much more footage available that was previously unseen, even more than that incredibly exclusive copy. It seems like it will be a fan's dream, and any Clive Barker fans must have. Anyway, and as always, I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the production and troubled history of the Nightbreed movie and its various cuts. If you are new here, then please do hit subscribe to stay up to date on all of my mini documentaries and deep dive productions. Smash that bell notification to stay notified of all the world of pop culture and movie news. And until next time, I've been Mr. H. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.